is new tonight and it has a lot of you talking in Fairfax County. The Board of Supervisors might give themselves a raise, a big one, like thousands and thousands of dollars. You might be asking yourself, why so much money? Well, you're not the only one. Our right, Katie Lusso is here to explain exactly what is going on here. Hey, Katie. Hi there. Well, this morning the board voted eight to two to move forward with about a 40% pay increase. Tonight I spoke to one of the supervisors who voted no way. Not something I can support when our residents are facing the challenges that they're facing with rising inflation. We've increased taxes on them 50% in the last 10 years. We haven't even addressed our own employee compensation issues, certainly our police pay, our teacher pay issues, and we're taking care of ourselves first. I can't support that. Springfield District Supervisor Pat Harity is one of two board members who voted against the pay increase. Right now, board members make $95,000 a year, and the chair, Supervisor Jeff McKay, makes a hundred thousand a year. This raise proposal would bump board members to as high as a hundred and thirty thousand and the chair up to a hundred and forty five thousand a year. It, it really is a certain amount of public service. You're not in it for the money. There are a few things supporters presented as reasons to give these raises. First, they haven't received a raise since 2015. Second, they claim their pay is below market average. The data about that shows Fairfax County supervisors are actually paid more than supervisors in other northern Virginia Virginia counties. Supervisor John Faust, who proposed the raise, says board positions in Virginia may be considered part time, but they're expected to work around the clock, something Harity agrees with. But suggesting a pay raise right now in Fairfax County, he says, is disrespectful. To the community, certainly to our police officers who are amongst the lowest paid starting salaries and we need to get them up. We've got a public safety staffing crisis, so I think it's a it's a slap in the face to to more than just the community. And there's one more thing. The way this bill is written, any supervisor who votes against the raise would have to return their share of it to the county. Now, this isn't a done deal yet. There's a public comment hearing set for March 21st, and then they have to vote by April 15th. Lorenzo? Sounds a little messy, too, here. All right, Katie, thank you so much.